Welcome to Culture Screen, where we analyze culture through countdown. If you are a fan of samurai culture, Japanese history, or Eastern philosophy, chances are you've heard of Miyamoto Musashi. This episode is on The Path Walked Alone, or Dokodo, written by Miyamoto Musashi. Dokodo was written one week before Musashi passed away and is a reflection of his life. Musashi wrote these 21 one-line articles on the same day that he gave Terao Maganoho the Book of Five Rings also known as Gorin no Sho. Since the Edo period, followers of Musashi's Nitten Ichirayu have regarded the Dokodo as a treasure and has become known as their pledge or Jiseisho. Now, of course, there are many other translations of Dokoro. The text, however, is not as difficult as some of Musashi's other writings. The 21 Dokoro statements should be read as affirmations rather than a formula for others to follow. Now, we must remember that Musashi was a ronin. He traveled throughout Japan dueling different opponents and this was the bulk of his life. He struggled, he suffered, he fought many people, he fought in wars between rivaling samurai clans and the Dakota is seen as his final words and these are Musashi's 21 affirmations. 1. Accept everything just the way it is. For Musashi it was essential that his students understood that change and being able to adapt was the only constant you needed to be successful in war. Understanding the enemy, not judging the enemy, not allowing anything to cloud your judgment was essential. Number two, do not seek pleasure for its own sake. For Musashi, pleasure was to be considered a trap. If you make pleasure your focus in life, you will never get enough of it. It will become a drug, it will be become addictive and it will become intoxicating. Pleasure feels good, but as we know, just because something feels good doesn't mean it is good. Number three, do not, under any circumstance, depend on a partial feeling. Today, the way you feel is not how you will feel tomorrow. That is why you need more than just a feeling. You need discipline. The warrior that feels like training today and not training tomorrow will never beat the warrior that is disciplined in training every day, every hour that he can. Number four, think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. As a Buddhist, Musashi always fought back against the ego. In order for a warrior to be as effective as possible on the battlefield, they had to consider themselves and their experiences a lot less than the actual reality around them. Their enemy, their situation, their environment, these aspects were exponentially more crucial for the survival of a warrior than to think about themselves and how they felt at any given moment. Number five, be detached from desire your whole life long. For Musashi, to desire was the opposite of ambition. Warriors were to train and perfect their art so that they could be as effective on the battlefield as possible. Desires were seen as clouds over the ego. A warrior may desire to be in a peaceful state. They may desire things that they currently do not have. And those desires would only lead to their demise by distracting them from what they currently had in front of them with with what they could have in the future. Number six, do not regret what you have done. Regret is a way of holding on to the past. And of course, holding on to anything or being attached to anything was not useful for the warrior in any way. We all suffer. Now, a warrior had to take the suffering, learn from the lesson, become stronger. This was the path toward perfection. Number seven, never be jealous. Being jealous will not help you become a better warrior. Musashi understood this. You can either be training or not training. You are either on the path or you are not on the path. Jealousy and no other feeling will help you on the way. Number eight, never let yourself be saddened by a separation. As a soldier on the battlefield, Musashi encountered many people throughout his life. To form attachments with people, especially for a warrior, would only lead to an early demise. It would lead to overthinking, reminiscing, and dwelling about the past, holding on, being attached to suffering, and would do nothing 
nothing to help you become the perfect warrior. Number nine, resentment and complaints are not appropriate for you or others. We all know someone that only resents, only complains. That leads to nothing, especially for a warrior. A warrior can complain or they can feel a certain way about something, but it again will not help them on their path toward becoming the perfect warrior. Number 10, do not let yourself be guided by the feeling of lust or love. Anyone who has read about human history understands that lust and love can lead to terrible things. Nations often jump into war against each other, families are broken apart, and many lives are lost all in the name of love. A true warrior does not allow lust or love to control them in any way. Number 11. In all things have no preferences. A warrior cannot control the food he encounters in the wild, the sleeping conditions he will have during time of rest, or anything else that surrounds him on the battlefield. Not having a preference to a specific sword, for example, a specific meal or bed, allows the warrior to adapt and become nimble, two essential aspects of an effective warrior. Number 12. Be indifferent to where you live. Number 12 goes hand in hand with the preceding number 11. A warrior must not concern himself with where he sleeps, the type of food he eats, etc. Number 13. Do not pursue the taste of good food. Just like 12 and 11 that preceded it, 13 is essentially asking the warrior not to attach himself to food. Number 14. Do not hold on to possessions you no longer need. Holding on to possessions will drag you down on the battlefield and prevent you from carrying materials you do actually need. Number 15. Do not act following customary beliefs. Custom, for Musashi, was the opposite of practicality. If you should use one sword, use one. If you need to use two, use two. Do what is effective on the battlefield, not what is custom. Number 16. Do not collect weapons or practice with weapons beyond what is useful. Again, an extreme practicality for Musashi. Why gather weapons? Why practice with them if they won't be useful for you in your time of need? Number 17. Do not fear death. Death is certain and it is promised to us all. Why fear it? Why look forward to it? Don't think about it. Number 18. Do not seek to possess goods for your old age. You do not know when your time of death will come. Preparing for a time in the future will only distract you from training right now. It will distract you from getting what you need to get done today. Number 19. Respect Buddha and the gods without counting on their help. If you want a better life, you have what it takes already right now. Just guide your life in that direction. It's that simple. Regardless of who or where you are. Number 20. You may abandon your own body, but you must preserve your honor. Your honor is a measure of your dependability. If the people around you, such as your family, cannot depend on you, you are not honorable. You may not live forever, but your honor will. Number 21. Never stray from the way. We are all on our own paths. You are on a mission, and you must find what that mission is in order to fulfill it. Once you have found your path, your true life can begin. The difficult part will be staying on your path without being distracted by others. We upload new videos every week, so subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the like button as well. Click the notification bell to be notified of when we upload these videos. See you on the next episode of Culture Screen.